meeting new people and like old friends from years ago that you haven't seen in Time spent in ministry praying for each other uh, as a whole group for all manner of things. It's, it was pretty awesome. It's been really fun. We've done lots of games. Meeting up with lots of old friends from Alpio and the Brymore. I think the funny part has been the relentless banter. Bees boyfriend application. <laughs> How Will accidentally applied for it. Yes, I'm retracting my application. It's been amazing, especially stickering people. That, that's been really, really great and also really embarrassing. Everything's been really fun. I got to meet loads of new people and the worship was incredible every night and morning. And the seminars have been really interesting and they've really, a lot of things have really helped me along in like some things that I've been going through, like thoughts and stuff. I really like the worship. I think it's really easy to be free and kind of express yourself however you want to. Like, I'm definitely gonna try and express myself more. I enjoyed like singing my heart out to all the songs because it made me feel um, happy because I was singing for Jesus. I think my best bit was being together with everyone during the worship. That was a lot of fun, just praising the Lord. It's been absolutely amazing this year. The worship's been great. with the Holy Spirit and stuff like that and just the worship is incredible. In one of the meetings I went up to be prayed for um, and an image came to my head and it just sort of helped me to relax and feel a lot happier with myself and in the knowledge that God is with me. 
they spoke about a lot of things and it was got you involved. Tim Ross because he was really funny and that was really engaging. Taking home how um, I read the Bible, the different ways I can read it and see different perspectives. I went up to go and get prayed for and it just confirmed that God was, that God was with me. I think to think about my decisions more. Just sort of trying to live out like God's work in my everyday life rather than just sort of waiting for the ex extraordinary moments. I guess I do feel shame quite a lot and it's hard for me because I try to, I always, I'm always worrying about what other people are going to think of my actions and mm -hmm. I just need to learn how to brave it I guess and I'm okay. going to try that. Think about my decisions more. What I have learned is uh, not what we should be doing but how we should put it into the context of our everyday situations and our lives amongst our non-Christian friends. Well, at the beginning, it was quite scary. I wasn't sure if I was ready for it. And now I've made lots of new friends uh, from Clandogo and from Bristol over there. Also, I've learnt lots of new songs. And some of the songs have had more of an impact on me. I wasn't sure, oh God. And then seeing the people having their little laughing fits and falling over. Well, there must be something going on, or they're just massive attention seekers. Um, so, which I'm pretty sure isn't the case. It kind of made me think, well, maybe there is something going on. Yeah, I've had my doubts, but I think they're pretty much gone now. He enjoyed praying for um, Josh, for example. I had a particular encounter with the Holy Spirit where I was shaking and I was just so overwhelmed in His presence, and it was it was a pretty awesome way to kind of finish the summer and send me back to back to here in Monmouth to where I am and strengthen me in what I'm doing and how I'm trying to live my life and show the faith that I have out to those around me that need Jesus in their lives.